all right what's up everybody been a minute for me in the uh, MT-09 as you guys could see in the garage there is no rebel and no gold wing uh, the rebel is finally sold it's on to its new owner uh, the gold wing is at the shop this is mostly just a bunch of small stuff like an exhaust leak the fork seals were leaking the speedo sensor is bad on it too so we're going to see if we can get it fixed up uh, it's supposed to be fixed already so I don't know what, oh there's a peacock one of our neighbors over here has peacocks He's running across the road right now. There's a whole bunch of glass in the road. But, yeah, so Goldwing should be back eventually. I don't know what's going on. Nothing, like, super complicated. Just, there's hardly anybody that could work on it. So I took it to the one, one of the few places that I knew would. So we're out here on the fun bike, having a good time. You know, there is one thing that I want to talk about, and it is the Revzilla guys, you know? I really like them. I think they have some good content. I really loved their Alaska trip on their Honda trails. I thought that was a cool video. It reminded me of Top Gear. And I've always been a huge fan of Top Gear. I love, but nobody can ever replace Jeremy Clarkson, I don't think. He's just such a character. Not a lot of people have that kind of character, you know? And one thing that really like the reason I love the Honda video the like the silly stuff they do is because, because it's funny and they're not putting their personal opinions on stuff the one thing I really hate the thing I want to talk about because I watched a video about exhaust recently that Ari made that really just like is irritating you know I don't like it when people think they should tell you what to do with your property and in this video Ari was talking about should you run straight your bike without a muffler is it bad or good for it well the simple explanation is that taking your muffler off of your bike is not going to harm anything. Just taking the end exhaust piece of your, your exhaust off your bike isn't going to do any kind of harm. If you took the manifold off, like the exhaust header manifold completely off and just ran it like that, yeah, you're going to do major damage. But just eliminating a part of the exhaust system, if you still have the manifold on your bike, you are not going to hurt anything. I don't like it doesn't get any simpler than that. As long as you have pipes running off of your header or off of your head, you're good. That's all you need. Will it be ridiculously loud? Yes. But if that's what you want, do it. See, I don't have a problem with people doing what they want. Apparently, Ari does. And that's the thing that irritates me. For one, I don't know why he chose the worst sounding motorcycle he could possibly find for that video. My only guess is he wants people to think that when you take you change the exhaust on your bike that it's gonna sound absolutely horrendous and yeah if you change the exhaust on your Yamaha R3 yeah it's gonna sound 
pretty bad. It's not going to make any kind of glorious exhaust note. Like that. So, he's saying, no, you shouldn't do, you shouldn't do this, which I disagree with. But then he's also saying, he's like, no, you shouldn't even put an exhaust on the bike. He said if you absolutely need to, to buy a nice one. Uh, okay, but, and he's saying don't remove, I'm pretty sure he said something, like, don't even remove the silencer. Because of, like, noise pollution. Which, like, already, he said it's already too noisy of an environment. Most, most, I'd say 90% of vehicles on the road are not even that loud. So, if you have a motorcycle, which real, uh, I mean, what kind of percentage of vehicles do motorcycles even make up that it is that big of a deal? Do whatever you want. And that's the thing that irritates me that Ari thinks he's some kind of like he, he, he's there to tell you what you should and shouldn't do with your motorcycle other than like just fact based saying you shouldn't do it because it makes noise and is louder is just stupid I think like like Ari right, if you don't want your bike to be loud okay that's fine I don't I don't care if somebody leaves a sock muffler on their bike do whatever the hell you want if it's too loud for you then do I recommend you put an exhaust on it no <laughs> that doesn't make any sense but if you like the way a bike sounds and you want to make it louder like this bike, like this bike would be so, me like it'd still be fun to ride, but with a stock exhaust, it, it, it just sounds like, a, like it's just so bad, it's so bland. It's like, I don't even like, like it, it, it's so much more exciting to ride it with the exhaust the way it is, like with an aftermarket exhaust. And that's the way a lot of stock motorcycles are. They just sound so bland with a stock exhaust. Uh, like, and that, but it's also for specific motorcycles. Like, if you get a, a R3 or a, a Rebel 500, I put an exhaust on Rebel 500. If I had to do it over again, I don't think I would have. I ended up not liking the bike anyways. But it doesn't really make an incredible sound either. It's a pretty bland sound, honestly. It's not horrible, but it's not great. This bike, I would not have any other way. The Goldwing. Could I ride it with a stock exhaust? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It just didn't, it didn't make much sound. But with the aftermarket exhaust, this sounds really good. It's not like this, but it sounds really good. And I like it. So, I'm just here to say, stick to the facts. And I'm not even saying what Revzilla should do. I'm just saying, like, it annoys me that they do that, but I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm just saying, like, the facts are what really matters. And when you title your video, is it bad or like running a straight pipe exhaust? Like just removing your muffler? Is it bad for your engine? The answer to that question is a simple no. It now, does it sound good on an R3? Hell no. <laughs> so, and honestly, I always recommend a full exhaust over like just removing your muffler. So I didn't necessarily have anything wrong with that part. And it's just, when he was talking about you shouldn't even be putting an exhaust on your bike, 
we're making it louder I, I just, just think that's kind of silly especially for like you got to be thinking about what your audience is I know that there's a lot of motorcyclists that prefer a stock exhaust but there's also like I'd say a much larger majority of motorcyclists versus car drivers want to hear their exhaust so for me being that this is a motorcycle company the fact that they think their audience is gonna agree with them on this seems kind of silly you know I, I honestly like think of all the motorcycle listings you see think of how many of them have kept the stock exhaust not a lot not a lot so I just think it's kind of goofy that they do stuff like like say stuff like that um, and our, he, he's more on like that side of telling you what you should and shouldn't do with your bike and mostly on the shouldn't because of this that and the other noise what like he, he's really about telling you what you shouldn't do to your bike the other guy he seen the daily rider guy I can't think of his name right off the top of my head uh, I, they're both great riders don't get me wrong but uh, the other guy he seems all right he seems not like louder motorcycles either but he doesn't like he's not as pushy about it so like if you can have your opinion but don't like shove it out like to other people I just don't like the way I guess that he comes across in the videos like pushy on telling you what you should do and sh shouldn't do other than that I like their like I like their trips trip videos that stuff's pretty cool but that's all I have to say on that topic just something I wanted to uh, talk about here for a little bit haven't made a video here in a little bit like I said it's been really hot uh, it feels really good right now honestly just hoping I don't get rained on uh, I got new ND filters the last one slipped over and I feel like they made the video pretty bl blurry so I returned those and I'm trying a different set. These are newer uh, ND filters. We're going to check these out, see how they do. It seems like most of the test rides for the year are over. So, that's kind of sad. But, only thing I'm going to be able to get from this point is if I rent something and way things are right now the channel doesn't exactly pay for it I don't make any money off the channel but and I have a vacation coming up so I'm needing to save money for that and it'll be September when I come back from vacation and I'm going at the end it's gonna be like Labor Day weekend so I'm going to Utah I'm excited about that. I wish I was taking my bike, but I'm going with my fiance, maybe our two dogs, but we're just going to enjoy our time there, you know, ride some side-by-sides, uh, get a Jeep, and then just do whatever else. We'll be in the Salt Lake City area, so that will be fun. Um, no real updates. For the MT-09 I've just been riding it the way it is I still don't have the title for it which is ridiculous hopefully I get it sometime next week it's been like two months two or three months now I already have the Goldwing title and I've had it for like two weeks granted the Goldwing is also already in the shop and can't say the same for this so I really love that Goldwing though it is a ton of fun to ride.
man I can't get over the, the sound of this bike I just love it I get old. Ah, this bike's so much fun to ride. It's just, I'm really glad I have the Goldwing, but they are two completely different animals, you know. This bike, I just want to pull the throttle all the way open and just get my adrenaline pumping, screaming down the road. The Goldwing, I just want to cruise, throw that throttle lock on, and just eat up the miles. You don't even get any of the wind on that bike, it's crazy. Sometimes I wish I did, because it gets pretty hot. There's literally, like the engine is literally just a volcano down there. It's like boiling hot sometimes. But it's still not as bad as some bikes I've been on, like the uh, Pan America. I don't know why. But the Gold Wing's really coming along. I took the crash bars off. Um, and once those fork seals are fixed and the exhaust, it should be good to go, you know? I changed the oil in it, but other than that, I, I mean, I don't, I put the exhaust on, but I don't want to touch it anymore because I, I really need to quit spending money on it because it's really not worth it. Like between the exhaust and then the repairs, I'm literally going to have as much money into it as the whole bike costs, almost, not quite. It's like two thirds of what it costs, but that's pretty ridiculous. So hopefully I can get a little bit more of that out if I ever go to sell it, which I'm sure at some point I will, seeing as it's a 1985 and it has 85,000 miles, which the gauge also quit counting now because the speedo quit working. So that's great, but it is a really enjoyable bike to ride. You know, it's super comfy for me and my fiance. I, I would love to have a brand new one, but that's just not in the books right now. And I, I'll, my next upgrade will probably be a GL 1500 or, well, I think the 1800 is the new one. So probably a GL 1500. That would be nice. I've heard the seat on the new one sucks. Which is kind of disheartening because the seat on the 1985 is really good. So. Nice colors in the sky over there. Let's get some MT-09 action in right now. gas right there one thing I've noticed on this bike is the uh, it is really vibrating up in like the eight nine thousand rpm and above range it just vibrates the heck out of the bars 
that's one thing I miss about a four cylinder and why I'll probably be upgrading to one at some point. I'm either gonna go with an MT10, I think they sound like a V4 basically, or a CB1000R. It's gonna be, or a, a Katana, or a GSXS1000, or a Z900. Well, well, no, the 900 is a four cylinder, so maybe a Z900 too. I'll just have to see which one I like the best. Beautiful. I can barely see the cars ahead of me because of the sun shining right in my eyes, but it looks amazing. I can see clearly now, the sun's not in my eyes. Hope somebody like that. gonna do it for today's episode I hope you guys enjoyed my another day of my rambling thanks for watching